Owl, uh, also Nago player. Yep, it's gonna be. We should be getting Nago Biken. Got the sword fight going on here. We do. The 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 big the big swordies. Mm-hmm. Uh, Battle of the Far Slashes. <laughs> Okay, okay, maybe not that. That'll be that'll be Biken versus Johnny. That's the battle of the far slash. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yo, Johnny those are like super similar too. It's just like Johnny's yeah. is like slightly bigger. Oh, that battle mm -hmm. like what? Those are two characters. Where I'm just like I'm just gonna six p at round start just to just to check. Also, this is somebody I've not seen until recently, but I just want to point out because I love it. There is a player in this bracket whose just actual tag is the Jacko player. <laughs> okay. I would love if they didn't play Jacko. I, was I about love to they say just like, that. play Testament. It's just like it's like who can, or not Testament like like some random character. Like, Cappy, against... Yeah, play Cappy Chaos. Yeah. No bet like Batman or Goldust. You just play like a heavy. It's just like well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, we're okay. gonna get into it right away though. Yeah, we got ba Owl versus Glue Guzzler, Battle of the Band. That's the real one we got. This was like good uh, back in the day. This was like both. Both of the player bases would downplay this matchup and say, like, they lost it super hard. Yeah, this seems but fine gonna... for both sides. But honestly, like, oh I, don't my know, God. I don't really know about each like each of these characters. That players. was a crazy I... trade, though, to get the 2D to get the hard knockdown with only getting staggered from, like, the 2K Nago did. It's a big counter -made. Definitely not a trade you want to take if you're Owl. Okay, now this is interaction you're fine taking. Oh, the far slash going to drop, though. Corner with Nago is very good. However, oh, the combo is going to drop. Yeah. All right, Glue Guzzler getting in there. Oh, oh, the parry gonna get baited. I like that delay there from Owl to catch. I like the 2H to catch the back dash. Mm. Okay, punishing Ooh, that, that 2H. 2H. Not... Yeah, that 2H not gonna catch though. Ooh. I love that block string. Okay. That was a good deflect. Not gonna press anything after. I know this, oh no. Oh no, the blood gauge. <laughs> I know, Maybe. I noticed, I noticed Owl holding FD and I was just like, wait a minute. <laughs> All yeah. right, first I'm going to go to Glue Guzzler. And yeah, no, yeah, Vikings 2H is like a really good approach option. Similar to some, it's not like as good as like Jacko 2D, but like it can be used in a similar regard. You just it's kind of like you have to like, with the All character right. you're already having to watch, because you're already having to really watch out against Viking in the air, because she can just like jump in and JS and then go Zonsen and she's in, and she's in your face with plus frames. And so on a character where you're already having to watch the air super heavily, the fact that she can just like go to the ground as an approach option is definitely hard to deal with. Okay, yeah, oh. you, st you still can't deflect that? The rope No, I there think, means... uh, actually, I, I would need a, I would need someone to verify, but did the tether actually like make sure, make bike and not go as far back from the deflect? Because I want to say that exact string got deflected earlier in the in the in the in the set in round one. I want to say the exact string got deflected, but the two H whiff. But it looked like Biken was closer this time. So I wonder if that was just if I misremembered and Biken hit a different button, or if that or if the, like the tether actually mattered there because that'd be super interesting if it did. Okay, yeah, getting to game two. Okay, starting off the both, same thing. Yeah, both the doing same trade. I mean, yeah, that's definitely. I think I see the methodology for doing two D there as Viking because you're looking to like because like you can probably catch DP and like five K, which are two of Nago's like really good round starts. Definitely, you just don't expect like Nago oh, to just no. round start two D. So, okay, big damage. Not gonna not gonna quite kill though. A little, a little too early for wall break here. Yeah, didn't even do the 5D. Oh, we're just gonna jump in on him goodness. with the JK. What did what did what did Glue Guzzler press? What what did that knee hit? That it was, was probably so it big. was probably it was probably 5D. Because like, like a lot of a lot, a lot of times you react with like your fastest button. Yeah, there, that's and, true. And, and, and it's and it still loses to like oh okay. Yeah, we're not gonna get any. Yeah, more that was a great throw this. though from Glue Guzzler though that to yeah, catch that definitely. double Fukio. And now now in this good position with positive bonus, and the next corner. Yeah, you just gotta guess you're fighting Viking. I love that use of Tatami. That second hit, getting the combo pickup was really good. And now you just gotta guess. A6B. Oh, hold on. This this might be a, this might be achievable. Al might have guessed enough. Okay, never mind. Just gonna get shot <laughs> on the bite whiff there. All the Sniping time in the world just to pull out the gun. Okay, we're going to the corner. Oh, nice oh. bite. Gonna be able to go crazy here. Doesn't isn't able to catch them fully. No opening. That two H. No, that two H. Completely whiffing. 
Both okay. games so far, Owls had Q interactions that 2H has just caused them to lose. We're just whiffing that is just so brutal of a punishment. Okay. Just the JS approach every time. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised there isn't any 6Ps coming out from yeah. Owl. Because, like, it's it's happened a lot, but you're going to let Viking go free here. Oh, you're gonna get yeah, that's going to be it. Oh, shoot. Never okay. mind. Yeah. Uh <laughs> I, 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 how was I supposed to know that Naga was going to do a friggin' ambiguous cross-up on Biken's combo? <laughs> yeah, no, um, I think that's one thing, because we, uh, because I know, like, I'll do this, where people maybe, like, focus on one option. We see a lot of 2Hs from Owl, so maybe Owl's wanting, like, 2H the air approach, because it is very big reward if it works. But, like, like if you're, like, seeing Biken dash in, it may be too late to go for the 2H, so instead Owl's just choosing to block. But when, yeah, as you mentioned, the 6P, would be a good cover, and you'd still get like a good reward as Nago off of that. Okay, two duty round start. Uh oh, getting baited a little bit that time. Okay, nice block on, oh. on the burst as well. Big burst bait here. Yes, oh, super, yeah. absolutely. The first hard knockdown that we're gonna see on the, one of these wall breaks. This is really big. Full, full life and burst here for Owl. Yeah, you not can, even you, a, you... on a chroma meter for Biken, so no, no parry PRC on the menu yeah. to deal with Nago. Honestly, you could oh, have risked just going in there, but not even gonna need yeah. to uh, <laughs> to go in after the hard knockdown. Getting a perfect. No, okay. you think about it. Yeah, Nago has, even though Nago's poor mobility, he does have the better range. And so the fact that like you have such a big life lead, you can just sometimes afford to sit back and just punish their approach with just your, your massive buttons. <laughs> Did you see him 6P the 6P? Nice Ooh, PRC. That was amazing, to... yeah. You're gonna be able to get the extra meter here. Big health advantage as well. Absolutely. Okay, just jumping away from him. Yeah, and as I said, like you have, you have such a big range there as Nago. You can just afford to sit back and let Biken, because by it's on Biken at that low of life to find a way in on you. And so as long as you just call it out one time, that's the round. And that's exactly what Al did to take that third game. Starting the comeback, maybe. And now a glue glazer. You you've got you've got to fight. You've got to fight it. Yeah, it doesn't. Doesn't matter if it's a comeback or not right now. You're you're down when you're down two games. You just gotta fight. Oh, they, I still think they're not like that. It still looks pretty even, but like yeah, that Glue happens. Gluzzer, Glue Gluzzer just came out on top. In yeah, the there's end, those sets. Two game. Yeah, there's absolutely sets that like I've watched where it's like both players are very even, but then it's like three. Then just ends up being a three zero in someone's favor because someone just got like the last interaction. Like just three zero, three zero, but close, but, but for real. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've seen it. I've seen it. It can okay, absolutely nice. happen. Nice. That, that, this Where's is what he? people mean when they say results do not mean everything. <laughs> and nice, regardless nice of that, right now, place. there we go. We're seeing the six P now. Did not spend the, the ball there. Wait. Oh yeah, I do. I do not blame them. Two bars of blood is a risky position. You definitely have to like. You definitely have to be comfortable with how you're gonna spend the blood. And so if you're not, and so if you're not super certain on it, like what your blood's gonna be looking like afterwards, it's better not to go into blood rage and just lose the round because you thought you'd be fine or like we're trying to push something a little too much. I was still in a good position oh, there, and he's still in a rage. Speaking of blood rage, oh, no. though. And yeah, this is the Bro, worst possible guess. situation for you. Guess for the game, 2H. Nice block. Rolling in. Able to get that, that slowdown. I like that a lot. Just maintain plus frames. Just stay in there as Viking. Oh, this, that's, that's it, right? No. Oh, it's because it's in the corner, isn't it? I know that, I know that they changed that on Viking where you can get a meterless throw. Oh, throw combo. oh my god. Because goodness. he had the tether, the combo didn't work. That is okay. tragic. Blue Puzzler is on set point right now. What? You just you did always get, forget get those things. With com yeah, the tether usually makes it so your combos are better against Viken, but sometimes it can it can it make it so you have to route completely differently. It definitely sometimes those auto combos like <gasps> they do the just, just, huge oh. approach here from Owl. Oh, okay, parry! Wait. We're finally seeing a parry here from Viken. Yeah, this might be yeah, the start of the comeback in the round. Like this is very nice. Not this able to keep the tether on them. Nice YRC. Oh. <laughs> I like that a lot. Just the throw to catch a catch glue guzzler. And right now we're gonna see a game five here. Oh my goodness. I like that option a lot though. Just just knowing that glue guzzler wasn't gonna just go for anything immediate and just just taking the back throw. 
now we're now we're going to the final game game five mm -hmm. Goo Guzzler yeah and that was owl. that was definitely risky because i think owl was low enough health to where if viking did a shimmy of sorts that would have just been it that would have been the set but I like the risk taken there, especially when you're playing character like Nago. That's something you're gonna. Oh, oh. oh that is a lot of Fukio oh. at the beginning of the round. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's like that's like corner? a button check setup. That's like that's like a button check setup. Okay, bursting out of the corner. It's mm, it's really worth it because because they have absolutely. so much blood. But you're now you're just getting hit in neutral, and now they're two blood. Yeah. They have the extra long normals, and they have that extra ability. To oh what? Oh, could they have done a better conversion there to get the kill? Definitely. I think they it might just, be, yeah, the man will do Gabe's DP. Finding the hit there, though, with the Beyblade. So I think they're a little afraid for to, to kill using blood, but it's still working out for them right now. On set point for the first time mm -hmm. here, Owl looking that to blood complete gauge, this traverse trio. That blood gauge is very high. They have only, like, one special in the tank, which means that, yeah, Glugos is going to find their way in. Even now, the blood gauge is looking better. I got to deal with Tether. Oh, that's Good low there. Oh no, back throw. Oh, but he, baited, he baited the super. Yeah, it should be a bait. Okay, just yeah, far punish, slash RC, combo. Probably that. Oh, no, no, that doesn't wall stick. break. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Finds the two hit. S. Two S. Owl will be taking it three two, coming back from the brink of defeat over Glue Guzzler. Good stuff to Al. Oh yeah, what, Glue, what a Glue game Glue to get started. What what a, yeah. what? Uh, as some would say in the chat, what a team kill. 